This video is finishing off the Adobe Spark page. So in the last video, I had shown you how to create the Adobe Spark page and how to add text and pictures and glide shows and videos. So now to finish it off, up in the top right corner, there's a themes button. So you can click on themes and there's different themes that you can use. So let's say I choose this vintage. It will make your quotes look different. It will make your bullets look different. It will make your headings look different. So you have to take into account what areas you all want to change. And then as you scroll, it sometimes changes colors too. Versus this Teresa makes a box and as you scroll, the box turns. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. But those are the different themes. You can X out when you're done that. And then when you want to preview it, you can click preview. And you can check it out when you're done previewing. Then you just press the X in the top corner. And then you can press share. So now what you do when you share is it has your title. If you want to change your title, you can. You can pick a category. So I'm going to choose education. You can turn the author on or off. If the author is on, then make sure that the student's name is just their first name, last initial. Or you can shut the author off. Any of your photo credits, any of the photos that you got through the system, the photo credits will just show up. If you have pictures from other sources, then make sure that you copy and paste the pictures in, or copy and paste the URLs in here. We want to make sure we turn this get noticed off. And now it says create unlisted link. So we just click on the create unlisted link and it will just take a couple minutes to create it. And then you're able to copy the link, email the link, post it, however you want. And then as you make changes, to it all you have to do is press share and update your link and it will update it wherever you have it posted or anything like that so now if you wanted you could click on email and this will email the link to your project and um, using your chinook email it will also, you can um, copy it and paste it somewhere else. You can copy it, you can post it to Facebook and Twitter, whatever. And then you're done. And then if you make changes, then you just update the unlisted link. And that's it.